Often called sea unicorns, narwhals are among the most mysterious creatures of the Arctic. Their frozen habitat has made them hard to study, but as the ice melts, these aquatic mammals are becoming more accessible to scientists who hope to solve perhaps the biggest mystery of them all, the purpose of the narwhal's tusk. A lot of people think this tusk is a horn, but it's not, it's a tooth, isn't it? And you're a dentist, which I suppose makes sense. And in this case, probably a dentist for one of the most extraordinary marine mammals on the planet. I think it's a sensory organ. The research that we've been conducting for the last 16 years has shown tiny nerve connections between the outside of this tusk and its inner nerve, which is innervated directly to the brain. It's a sensory probe, if you will. That's one of many theories, although most scientists believe the tusk is used by males to attract females. This exhibition presents an overview of the latest research. It also shows how narwhals are changing their behaviour due to habitat loss caused by climate change and how that affects the Inuit, who have depended on narwhals for thousands of years. The native folks have told us that they're changing migrations, that there are more instances of what we call entrapments, that is when the narwhals get caught when the ice is freezing up in the fall and in the winter, it will freeze right over their breathing holes. Hundreds or even thousands perish. So there's some pretty dramatic events that can occur. Scientists work with the Inuit to track and study narwhals. By fitting them with sensors, they're learning more about their diving patterns and feeding habits, migration, and even how they communicate. These sounds were recorded underwater, but when predators are detected, the narwhals become quiet. But even their breathing can be an unforgettable experience. I was on the ice, and it was two in the morning roughly, and I heard the breathing sound of just one whale come up. The water was still, it was tranquil. There was a light mist and a fog, and then hundreds of whales started surfacing and I heard this cacophony of breathing sounds all around me. There are approximately 180,000 narwhals living in the Arctic, but climate change is opening the region not just to scientists, but to commercial enterprises, raising the risk of pollution. And that could pose the biggest threat of all. Jane O'Brien, BBC News, Washington.